Hey guys, it's Narissa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready to go into Dollar Tree to get my grandma a few things. And I will show you everything that I get when I get home, but come along shopping with me and I'll show you what it looks like in Dollar Tree. Let's go. Mask. Like so. All right. Mm, it smells good. It has some essential oils on it too. Okay, now let's go. So when I first walked in the store, I saw the bubbles and I had been looking for some bubbles online and they were super expensive. So I was excited to find these dollar bubbles here. And then also I grabbed a couple kites. What better thing to do in quarantine when we've been stuck at home for like 60 days now than fly some kites and blow some bubbles. So I was happy to find those. They had such cute things there. And I cannot pass up a notebook. I am a paper crafty girl, had to get some of those notebooks. And then they had a cute selection of little gnomes and little figurines to make a fairy garden. If there was any way for me to love Dollar Tree anymore, I would after finding this fairy garden stuff because I never thought that I would have a fairy garden or make one because I refused to pay, you know, ten dollars per little figurine so i was really excited to find that the spring paper plates and little like treat cups and napkins were gorgeous i'm talking myself out of buying them i i put everything back i really wanted to get some of those treat cups and i am kicking myself for not getting some of the spring flowers this one right here in particular i have a use for it now I have two actually Dollar Tree hauls in this video and um, when I went back they didn't have any of those so I was upset that tells you right there don't second guess yourself um, but the gardening section is on point at Dollar Tree I love it I'm I don't need any more uh, flower pots but I really wanted some of these I did not get any the next thing I was looking for was a puzzle for my mom I had just randomly thought about it that she had wanted a puzzle so I did find her one but there were all these cute little toys in this section that I just really had a hard time passing up <laughs> oh well and so now I'm moving down the book and well toy aisle and trying to resist buying some things for my son that he is clearly not even close to being old enough to use and then I found these lunchbox notes how cute are those okay so I totally just spent $37 in Dollar Tree and only six of it was for my grandma. The rest of it was just random stuff. I'll show you when I get home. Um, wasn't too worried about it. There are hardly any people in there, like literally five people in there the whole time that I was there and I was in there for probably 20 minutes or so. So all good there. All right, so for the Dollar Tree haul, what I actually put into the cart and came home with was these two ice cube trays with lids. These I'm going to use for baby food. I thought this was an awesome deal, so I grabbed two of those, a white and a blue one. So little baby food containers that I can freeze and put in plastic bags. And then I also grabbed two of these little storage containers. I'm always always in need of those and then I grabbed this puzzle for my mom darn it I forgot to look at the other stores I went to too um, she has been looking for a puzzle so I grabbed her one of these just a I guess that's rocks a pile of rocks and then I also grabbed I've gotten these before another one of these really pretty white plates um, this is just for you know pictures and and I like to have mismatching plates and whatnot and then I did grab a turquoise salad plate very pretty then I grabbed my grandma she likes these Kleenexes I grabbed her four of these that was the limit so four boxes of Kleenexes for her and then I grabbed these bubbles for my son he's a little he's too little for bubbles but I think he would enjoy watching them and I've been wanting to buy some on Amazon and stuff and they're like really expensive so I just grabbed those it's two of the wands for one dollar and then I grabbed this bubble blower this was just a dollar 
I also grabbed two packages of these Diet Snapple Singles. This one is peach and the other one is raspberry. So I've really been trying to increase my water intake and this is raspberry tea. Yeah, that's right, Snapple is tea. Um, diet Raspberry Snapple Tea. And this should help me increase my, my water intake. Then I also grabbed my grandma two packages of these napkins. She likes those. And then I couldn't resist these. I got these for my husband. 20 little mini solo cups, red and blue solo cups. This was in the 4th of July section. So those are super little cute little like shot glass cups. And then this is like my favorite find. This is the best deal ever. These are planter trolleys. Whoops. They have four wheels on the bottom. They're a dollar, like I said, obviously, Dollar Tree. But they are also trays. So they roll and they're trays that keep your plants from running water all over the floor. And you can't beat that for a dollar. So I grabbed three of them. They had three colors. They had green, that sort of terracotta pot color, and then this tan color. So I, they had three tans, so I grabbed those three. It's a great deal. Then I also grabbed two kites because I need something to do. And these were a dollar as well. I haven't flown a kite since, I can't even remember the last time. And April and May are awfully windy, so these will be fun to fly out in the yard with baby boy. Then I cannot pass up notebooks. There's two of these five by eight notebooks. And yeah, there's 80 sheets in each and they are ruled. So I cannot pass up notebooks and they're super cute. Sort of tie dye with the gold foil. So I'll put those in my, in my journal and notebook collection. And then this was another super cute find. These are little fairy garden trinkets that the Dollar Tree had. So they had a couple different houses. I went ahead and grabbed this pine cone. I thought that was so cute. And then they've got, I think I grabbed all of the different gnomes and accessories. So here is a three pack of gnomes. Then there is a gnome and two little bird baths. And then here are some welcome signs and then also like a little birdhouse lantern. And then lastly, these sort of little leaf chairs and stool. So I thought that was so cute. Little fairy garden figurines. I have never made a fairy garden before, but I'm going to now. Super cute. All right, the last thing I got from the Dollar Tree was a food item and I got these cream cheese pepper bites. So I think they are like jalapeno poppers, but just mixed together rather than having a stuffed jalapeno. So there's like six in here. So this will be a nice little snack. I've never tried these, but they look great. All right, so in addition to my Dollar Tree haul, I went again and I found some new items that they had out this time that they didn't have out last week. And I just can't get over Dollar Tree. I just love it. So my son isn't old enough for this stuff yet, but I saw these um, at the front of the store. This is a National Geographic Kids coloring book. And I just thought it was so cute. It has animal themed which is totally up my alley and I hope will be up my son's alley um, when he gets old enough to color and draw and use a pen but there's all different types of animals there's some hammerhead sharks there's some like mud puppy type creatures super cool so I had to get that and then they also had this ocean creatures sticker activity book so but anyway it has spots for you to put the stickers and then it talks a little bit about the animals so you can see through me as I am 90 for 95 percent water so this is a jellyfish and then here's an eel and some other things there's an octopus and there the pages are themed but here's the front page and then here's icy waters under the waves so then here's the stickers and you match up the animals with the spots. Although it's funny because my husband and I noticed um, everything in here is more 
um, saltwater oriented, and then you get to, where is it? I thought the front was saltwater and the back was freshwater, but the only freshwater species that I see, and here's a bluegill. These are bluegill. Everything else is like saltwater. It's so funny. But anyway, had had to grab those for a dollar. I looked through everything. I wanted to get several more, but couldn't justify it at this point. By the way, I'm doing this in the bedroom because I did get a couple things for Father's Day. So they had a cute little Father's Day setup. Look at this cute little bag. They had several different designs. This one says Hunter, so we can put his Father's Day stuff in here. And then they had this six in one stylus pen. This is just kind of a little like stocking stuffer type item. Um, I'm like the queen of stocking stuffers. I get it from my mama for sure. So there's a pen, a stylus, a ruler, a level, a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. So um, you can just throw this out in the garage. It will be perfect. So those are the two little Father's Day gift things that I found. They also had a new section of um, beauty items and I grabbed some of this hydrating facial mist, watermelon and aloe. It looks great. So I grabbed this to try and then look at this for a dollar. They had one of these foundation brushes. I've seen these. I don't know how good this is, you know, for a dollar, but hey, pretty cool. It's one of those foundation brushes that, that you see in like Ulta and stuff like that that costs a lot more than a dollar. So give that a try. And then I also grabbed my baby a little, oops, a little puff, a little shower puff, a little bath puff. It's a froggy. So I thought that was cute. It's a little, little miniature puff. All right. So then the sort of outdoor items, I did grab my dog a toy. We'll see if he enjoys this. He's needing some new toys, so I need to start paying attention when I'm out and about and grab him some new toys. So I grabbed this one, stuff that's not destructible because he can destroy some things. I grabbed my grandma a pair of these gardening gloves. They're pretty thin. They do have some grippies on the underneath side, but for a dollar, um, if she doesn't like them, then that's okay, you know. They are a little smaller, and that's what she needs. Her hands are small, so she needs some smaller gloves. So I got those for her to see if if she, um, if, those, if that's something that she was looking for. And then I got more of these planter trolleys. I just love them. I, I love them. This is such a great deal for a dollar. They didn't have any tan ones left. They had one green one and then they had several of these like terracotta colors, colored trolleys. So love those. And then lastly, storage items. You cannot beat Dollar Tree storage items. So I grabbed two sets of these, probably like six by 12 inches. And then a couple of these like pencil size containers. And then these are um, a little bit bigger, probably like 18 inches by 12 inches. If you can, in your area, get out to Dollar Tree and check out the new Father's Day stuff and the new beauty items. They're pretty sweet. Let me know if you find anything cool. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!